The massive March 11th tsunami did more than destroy homes and lives. The flooding left farmland along the coast salt logged and unusable. In this week's Road Ahead, we look at efforts to help a group of farmers in Sendai grow new crops on their land. One third of all the farmland in Sendai was flooded with seawater. Until last year, Mamoru Kikuchi grew lettuce and also arranged shipments for neighbors' crops to a fast food chain. There used to be trees over here, but they're all gone now. Kikuchi's fields are only 700 meters from the coast. The salt has made them unusable. He also lost his home and his younger brother, a fireman, died helping people to safety. My fields were covered with cars and wreckage. I was really worried because I knew it'd be a long time before I could start farming again. Kikuchi was at a loss. But about a month after the tsunami, he received an offer through a business partner to help set up a tomato farm. The idea came from a major restaurant chain based near Tokyo as a way to help the disaster area. This restaurant chain serves Italian food and it uses lots of tomatoes. Its 900 restaurants around the country use 1,000 tons of tomatoes every year. It has its own distribution network sourcing tomatoes from all over Japan. The company has a farm where it develops new strains of tomatoes. It wants to draw on this know-how to help farmers in the disaster area. We are hoping we can develop this area into a major new tomato producing region. Kikuchi and 10 other local farmers began by putting up greenhouses. They were not aware of the special requirements for the greenhouses, so it took them longer than planned. But Kikuchi is optimistic. I feel this is the only way we can make the initial step toward getting back into farming. It took them four months longer than they planned, but finally the first tomato saplings reached them. In place of soil, they use rock wool, a material that holds the water well. The young plants are fed with nutrient-rich hydroponic liquid. This technique means they don't have to use their salt-logged soil. By carefully adjusting the temperature, the growing season can be extended and they can produce three times as many tomatoes compared to growing them outdoors. Kikuchi is planning on learning a lot about growing tomatoes and is hoping to turn Sendai into a new tomato producing area. There are many farmers here who won't be able to use their land for the next two or three years. Before we lose this valuable workforce, we want to give them a chance to work as farmers again. Kikuchi expects to ship his first tomatoes in April. Officials in Sendai say it'll take at least two more years for the salt to be leached out of the farmland. And even then, the farmers will need new, new equipment to replace what they lost in the tsunami. Having those expenses covered by a major company will be a huge help for them in getting back on their feet.